Hello everyone, it's Winona the left-handed beater. Welcome back. Look at my nasty nail. Oh. Anyway, um, welcome if you're new. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and comment. Well, I've been away for a while. Um, I went to my brother's at the lake for a while, and then I was in Regina. I went to a movie and out for supper with my sister and my niece, and just enjoying the summer. Um, and swimming in my pool. Um, I fell getting out of my pool. Off, I fell off the ladder the other day. I thought I was on the last rung, so I stepped off and I wasn't on the last rung. And so I fell and bent my toes backwards. So I'm uh, limping a little bit. I think I'm the biggest klutz around. <laughs> anyway, um, I did this video a while ago, but I, uh, well, two things. One thing, Chloe was there. And he, he was determined that he was going to be the star of the show and play with all the beads. And secondly, I accidentally deleted it before I, I put it on the computer. And so it didn't get done. And yesterday I was going to do it, but my old iMac died. I've had it since 2009 and um, it just won't start up. So I guess I'll be computer shopping here soon. But anyway, I want to show you the bargain bead box. The July one, I think it was. And it says, it's plumage, and it says, The proud pe peacock has long been considered a symbol of confidence, beauty, and luxury. This month's collection features jewel-toned hues of blue and green to create a rich palette with a peacock and fe feather motifs. Highlights include lapis lazuli, chrysocolla, and deep green agate and grade A rhinestone beads, silver tone findings, and sparkling crystal accents. Now, I this will be like new to me because my brain is so bad. I can't. I don't remember things very well. So um, I'll just sort everything here. So anyway, I've, I've been having a really good summer, been really busy, um, went fishing, caught a fish the other day, that was nice, I haven't caught a fish in years, oh I can't remember which one that is, yeah, so I caught a fish and um, we had fish for supper that night, so that was really good. Okay, so number one is a seven and a half inch strand of eight millimeter lapis lazuli um, D dyed round beads, and these retail at five ninety nine. I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I don't have to hold them quite so high. So they're nice. Lots of variation in color. Nice. They all look pretty round. So that's nice. Gemstones are always nice. Number two is a seven and a half inch strand of eight millimeter lapis and chrysocolla. They're dyed round beads at $7.99. I don't know why they feel the need to dye all these beads. The stones themselves, these must be like the off cuts that didn't have a lot of color. So they color them. They're still beautiful though. Number three is a one meter strand of four by three millimeter stainless steel curb chain. And oh, this retailed for $7.99 and this retails for $3.99. And it's just your standard little chain, but it's a yard, a meter, so that's 39 inches. That's pretty darn good. Number four is a 20 pieces of eight millimeter brass and grade A rhinestone AB spacers. And these are nickel free. And these retail for $6.99. These are really pretty really add some flash. Kind of rushing because I have to make lunch. I have to go out and drive the uh, truck. My husband's bringing Dale's home and he wants someone to drive the truck with the trailer on the back and I guess I'm the lucky one. 20 pieces of eight millimeter brass and no, eight pieces of 10 millimeter grade A rhinestone pave beads, a peacock mixture, and they retail for $7.99. And I dropped one on the floor. I'll just pick it up here. Oh. There we go. Just a nice mixture. Nice peacocky colors, hey? Number six 
is a seven and a half inch strand of eight by six millimeter crystal rondelle beads in indigo AB. And these retail for $3.99. And these are so pretty. Nice deep color. Really goes well with this. I was thinking I could maybe add some of these to my Dee Dee's box and do some stuff with that. Number seven is an 11 inch strand of four millimeter glass round beads, rainbow iris, and these, these retail for $2.99. These are nice just to fill in. Very pretty. And then number eight is four pieces of 34 by 18 millimeter swirled chandelier findings. And these are lead free, cadmium free, and they are $1.99, retail for $1.99. So they're one sided, but the other side is still really nice. I'm having lighting issues today. I'm using my mom's laptop or MacBook, I guess it is. So really pretty. Really lends to that peacock feel. Number nine, this is what I like. It's approximately a hundred pieces of eight millimeter filigree style steel bead caps for and these retail for $4.99. They're very lightweight, but a um, hundred, that's a nice amount for a change. Let's see if I can do one here. Geez, I don't know if I would use them with this. And number 10 is, a 14 and a half inch strand of six millimeter agate. It's dyed and heat treated round beads in a deep green. And these retail for $7.49. These are really pretty. They really bring these two together. Agate is a very common stone and it's often found dyed. There we go, very pretty, hey? And then number 11 is an eight inch strand of six millimeter English cut crystal round beads in indigo AB for $4.99. And I love these little guys. I love them even when they're bigger though. I almost wish it didn't have the AB though. I wish it was just the solid color, but it has the AB. And it does give a lot of sparkle. I'll take a picture of this after and you can see everything. You've probably seen it in other videos already anyway though. And then number 12 is two pieces of feather toggle clasps, lead free, cadmium free, and these, ooh, these are cool. These retail for $1.99. I haven't seen any like that. I'd really like that just as a hanging pendant. Not even do the toggle. I think that would be nice with some others hanging. Look how good that looks, just like that. Just imagine it hanging with some other seed beads in that, like a tassel. Number 13 is four pieces of 18 by 11 millimeter stainless steel laser cut feather charms for three, retail for $3.99. And these are really pretty. You could put, just wait, I gotta fix this computer. You could put two for a pair of earrings and then again, you could have a couple hang down, or you could have them hang down as, as kind of a tassel-y kind of focal point on your necklace. Pretty. They feel really nice too. Number 14 is an eight inch strand of 10 millimeter crystal faceted coin beads, rainbow iris, $4.99. These are nice. These are really nice, I like these. I like them, they're all the different colors. And, and look at here, I've had these out for a while. I've been wanting to do something with these beads I got from Kath. Look how good that looks together. Hmm, you have to do something together with these beads. And number 15 is a seven inch strand of 12 millimeter crystal faceted rounds, teal with rainbow iris, and these retail for $5.99. And I absolutely love these. These are so cute, cute. Look at that banding around the center. 
just gorgeous. And then finally, number 16 is a 33 by 20 millimeter brass and lapis lazuli peacock pendant that retails for $7.99. And isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I, I did order Gina's bag, and I'll do a video of that right away, maybe later this afternoon. And um, yeah, maybe I could pull some of that stuff in too and just make some different jewelry with all the different vendors. Anyway, um, I better go down and make lunch for my husband. So I wish you lots of love and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.